It's the ISO guy, Sensei, the greatest on 2K in existence. And listen up, I'm gonna give y'all the best jump shots for every height, every rating, every play style, every archetype, every build, and the best tips and settings to shoot 80% from three in NBA 2K25. So y'all gonna make sure y'all wanna watch this full video. Who jump, okay? Before we get into all that, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. If y'all are new, we always gonna put you onto the sauce for every 2K so you can enjoy your game that you spend a hundred a build on. <laughs> Make sure y'all hit the like button, man. It helps young Swan grow. Show love, man. Now, firstly, this overall might be the best jump shot for 6'5 plus builds. Hopper, big ISO build. Try it out, man. And come back and let me know. Look, got a little build jump shot under 6'5. Okay, it's nice. I'm telling you. Try it out. It seemed pretty consistent. You got the straight A's, okay? You got the straight A's. Norman. 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 Bates Motel. Who seen that? Who seen Bates Motel, man? That was a crazy show, man. Norman. Norman. Great jump shot. Try it out. It seemed consistent. Hey, here's another pretty good jump shot. I don't know. I'll be making hella whites on this jump shot. And uh, yeah, it's pretty consistent. Try it out, man. I'm telling you. I'm back. Let me know how I feel. Look, we got the baby T Mac right here. Okay. Test it out. You know, we slowed down the speed because the game's just broken and Mike Wayne trying to play God. So you gotta get your percentages up, okay? It's just like the T Mac of old, definitely something you should try. Do a little or build. Here's another alternate reality. You know, I'm really done with the Oscar Robinson release, bro. I think there's thing is making you us miss more. I don't I don't know, man, but here's another alternate reality. Cam Thomas. I be making whites on this hoe. I'm telling you, slow this hoe down. Seem more consistent. Look, I ain't got no, I ain't got no Oscar on it. Hey, test it out. Let me know. Now look, as surprising as this is, bro, this jumper, I, I'm, I might have been most consistent with this jumper overall. Bronny James, this is crazy. His jumper is better than his dad's jump. Dead ass. Try it, bro. Try it. Hey, if you got a big build, try this jump shot out. You could tune up the release speed. This might be one of the best jumpers for big builds. Isaac, here's another great big build jump shot 610 plus try it out we'll see here's another pretty good jump shot for the bigs try it out it looked hella smooth scotty pippen another great base for uh poppers and big iso build okay here's another great jumper you only need an 83 okay six five plus here's baby t mac right here poppers big iso builds easy to time he's basically saying that normal risk is better than high risk overall y'all test it out y'all let me know how y'all feel about it i think he was saying like I think he was saying like if you shoot in 70s or 80s or whatever stay on high risk which like nobody does it was some uh high number like that or i think he was saying 65 plus i i don't i don't remember but he was saying if you if you don't go normal and that's basically 2k25 with mike wayne playing guys you get better percents at the normal now look i went and shot on normal bro i was shooting greens i, I didn't make no whites but uh it felt normal i was making them huh? felt like i could still you know see he's saying i, I presume if you shoot 61 plus high risk zero percent to this normal risk that's kind of crazy that can help you more with your missed time shots now he tested out low risk he's saying basically if you shoot zero between 21 percent do low risk like if you some foreigner or something i don't know man y'all let me know if any of y'all use a uh, low risk or if you're just lagging all the time you just get more greens overall so maybe this could be a method to make more shots man if you got a low three and you a rhythm shooter I guess just rhythm shoot, man, and uh, use normal wrist. This test was done on normal wrist, pretty sure. He did another test, okay, normal wrist, and with a 95 three-point rating and rhythm shooting, you make more whites. But, um, you know, they said there's a skill gap to rhythm shooting. <laughs> Y'all let me know how y'all feel about these findings, man. As I was streaming, right? They're telling me to do this, right? Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me pause this, let me pause this. So look. Uh, they telling me, my stream told me this, right? Go to Lethal Shooter, okay? You pick your three hot spots and you quit. You don't close app. I'm gonna show you live footage, okay? It live is. footage. Look. I hit X right here. Look, you see? X and I just quit. Quit? Are y'all sure? 2K, you ban me? Quit. I'm filing a report. Okay. You ban me? I'm filing a report. All I did was quit. I just quit. So look, it's not hey, showing. I start tweaking. What's fake glitch. Fake glitch. <laughs> fake glitch. Fake glitch. Why do you have these cold spots? Walk out. Told me to walk out. Are y'all? Walked out. As you can see, walked out. 
and check my hot spots. Now look, everybody in my chat, y'all be sure to turn up, be sure to tune into my streams. If you ever want to play with the swan, follow on Twitch, link is in the description, or baby hawk. But they was telling me that 2K lied about nerfing lethal shooters. Yeah. still only miss two or one shots. This method is crazy. You don't even got to do it. I hear people still struggling with it. Shooting seem harder than before the patch. I don't know. I never tested lethal shooter, but hey, this is the method. Spread it. Here's the my career method real quick, right? Look, bro, all you're going to want to do is put the game mode on rookie, right? And then you're just going to catch and shoot and shoot right over them. Go to your spot that you want the hot spots, put it on five minute quarters, or you can put it on whatever minutes you want and you can get all your hot spots. Do not play online until you get your hot spots. Every three point zone, get your hot spots. Look, it's very simple, man. You don't even got to dribble. You don't got to do nothing. Just look, just shoot it. Green. And you could just keep doing that. You can stay down there. Look, just shoot. It don't matter. It's on rookie. They're not going to contest you. Even if you go down there, just shoot the ball. Shoot, 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 shoot. Get your hot spots, though. Same with the midi. You could do a screen fade. Get your hot spots, okay? Tell your friends also, don't play online unless you get your hot spots. I would say over 60, 70% of the community doesn't have their hot spots and they're playing online. Bro. Get your hot spots, bro. Get your lethals, man. It's just lazy, bro. It's so important. But 2K Tuts did another video. You know, 2K should actually be showing y'all this. And he shows you the damn release points in this hole. You know, this is when you should be releasing it for jump off of what he's saying. This is when you should be releasing it from set point. And this is when you should be releasing it from push and then release is right here i prefer release now look 2k lab put out a video you know with they modded controllers testing out button versus rhythm shooting and you can see rhythm shooting is way better i mean if you can get that in your game and throw it in every now and then do it you have way less room for error a you know bigger green window and yeah even with the normal you can miss time it and make it sometimes so it's kind of crazy now even in my other videos i've been telling y'all about set shot specialists right 2k lab did a video right basically make sure you get this at least gold in some way either with your max plus one or getting the 89 midi or three point and you will be able to shoot much easier you should only have it with these you're some type of god right and you're really trying to tap into something else but if you know there's a lot of lag latency you want to deal with less of that you got to be gold plus okay he's saying this is the benefit you're gonna see if you invest more into it and all this and that this is the badge y'all need it's not just spot ups um, any shot that's not fading, it pops up, okay? You stop and shoot. Here's the limitless range. Y'all want to invest in it, but uh, you should be playing on a monitor, okay? I know it sounds dumb, but there's a lot of old heads in this world. Y'all got to share this video. You need to be playing on a monitor with all games. There's a delay. You're playing on some big 60 inch. There's a delay. It might look better or whatever, but it's a bigger delay. You need to be playing on a monitor like the BenQ, ASIC, whatever, ASIC, whatever it's called, okay? You need to be playing on a monitor. I think I switched in like 2K18 or something. You know, I was still a god at shooting back then, but I don't know, but y'all are even more more delayed on a super del delayed game secondly very this is very important very, bro it's so important that i can't even explain you need to be making sure that you are ethernet cable from your playstation into your route that is fundamental to playing online games or you're going to be delayed you're going to get way more lag spikes etc need the ethernet cable there are super long ones you have to get it if your mama don't want you to do it or whatever you're gonna have to find a way to get your own internet in your room you have to do it okay or you will um be very unhappy now you don't gotta hardwire your controller there's actually videos out there saying you get less of a delay with your controller unplugged for the ps5 or something you can look it up yourself ps4 wasn't like that i'm pretty Pretty sure but for some reason for the ps5 if you play without it plugged in you get less delay i don't know but one thing for sure that i want to tell y'all is make sure you always play either without your controller plugged in or with your controller plugged in because they're two different delays it's just like when you play in the rec versus the park they're two different lag delays latencies and lag spikes when you do it with you're adding a different factor when your controllers start to die you plug it in you're gonna notice that it, it just seemed different or you're just starting to miss but but trigger effect this is very important please guys please send this video to your friends when i play with randoms especially the old heads dog that you hear it you hear it bro that's all you hear in their controller <laughs> bro you can't play like that it's disrupting you okay this is okay but the, the trigger effect is in 
Listen, bro, you gotta, you know, you got something tripping in your hand, bro. How can you play? You know, just when dribble, it's gonna, it's gonna intimidate you. You're gonna mess up your shots. It's turn it off, guys. Okay. Now look, your shot timing profile. Put it here. Okay. Either here or here. You can start off here. This description it says similar to previous 2Ks, but according to 2K uh, 2K Lab chart, that's not true because that doesn't represent those 2Ks. Or I don't I don't know. Hey, now look, bro. 2K makes it to where you have to have shooting boost to be able to shoot consistent. I know it costs VC, but if you want to shoot as good as you can, you gotta buy the uh, the shooting boost, bro. That that's just how it is, and it gotta do with your Gatorade. So make sure you're doing your Gatorade drills and all that, man. And, and I think you even get a discount unless they took it out this year. But gotta have jump shot boost and some form of Gatorade so you know you have a bigger stamina meter and all this and that while you're moving around, you shoot the ball. Hey, you don't need all of them, but you need some of them, especially if you're a guard. They make you pay to play to uh, be consistent in the game. If you can manage without it, rock with it, but that's just how it be. Now, secondly, before you play online, hey, okay, this is very important. You want to get your hot spots. Hit them through the My Career 12 minutes, lowest difficult, right? Or I'm going to show you all these courts. Now, look, to get your hot zones pretty easy, you're going to want to go to the Temple or the Dooms, okay? Look, let me show you. Wait, hold on. Where, where that? Where that? The Dooms, okay? Dooms or it's right here okay or you could do the my career lowest difficulty y'all let me know which is easiest so far look right here you got the board these people this is where you're gonna do it at man definitely need to get this badge max to be able to shoot consistently online man a lot of your shots are gonna be with this badge, and a lot of your shots are gonna be with this badge too you need to get this up art of shooting gym this is where you're gonna want to go to get your purples get your reds first get your red hot zones first you're gonna go in here it looked clean it looked clean i don't know if it's just because it's new or what it looked clean to me feel me you know you know what we don't we don't look kind of clean but make sure you learn your shot before you actually attempt this. I hear the Gatorade drills closing app is patched. Someone let me know down below. I don't know. Y'all know if you mess up, you could close app. I don't know if you could close app on this. Like if you, you're starting to mess up. So, you know, figure that out. Let 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 me know so I can let everybody else know. So, you know, we can have more fun on the game. Now, of course, you want to have no shot meter. You get a 20% boost to your green window. That's what they say. It's way easier to shoot without it. Just do it. I don't care. It don't help you guys. Just do it, bro. Trust me. Now, look some people in previous 2ks you know y'all know having all this stuff on and off look you could take off a lot of stuff the green release animations you could take it all off if you know some people believe that adds latency and lag to your player you know so you could take off a lot of these things no ball trail a lot of people shoot way better without the ball trail so you know you can have this type of stuff off even when it comes to the feedback some people have it off i always keep it on but some people turn this off and they say they shoot better so if you're really struggling or you're really delayed or laggy and you know, you, I mean, you could test this out, see if it helped, but you know, that's just a method. Anywho, click the video on the screen if you want the best settings in NBA 2K25 to be a, uh, a dribble hot. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.